Well, good morning. It's Friday morning, and we're blessed to be here. Hey, listen, we want to make sure uh, to that you know that we have some very special guests. I mean, we've known Bobby and Lynn Crow. Well, we're not going to say how many years because it's been a long time. So it's about 1991. Yeah, about 1991. And so they have a, a tremendous ministry uh, in Ciudad Victoria. And we've been wanting to have them for a long time. They're very busy people. They have a we very support them monthly. Uh, yes, we do. We, our church supports them monthly. We believe in what they're doing. Uh, we've been down to teach in their Bible school before years ago, and we used to. Do, I used to do that really almost every year. Go down mm -hmm. and teach in there, and uh, but they have a great church, um, a great ministry. They have a TV ministry there in Mexico. Preach uh, daily programs all over Mexico. They have a Bible school there, mm -hmm. and so we're just blessed to be a part to be able to uh, funnel some of God's money into that ministry. Amen. That's so Continue good. Continue to work around the world. Amen. So that's this Saturday the women's meeting at 10 uh, at 10 o'clock and um, um uh, she's going to be ministering, and then uh, Lynn will be ministering, and then Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, well, then um, uh, Bobby will be ministering. So we encourage you to come and to be a part of that. Well, praise God. Today, the devotion uh, is the promise of eternal life. Amen. You know, the word eternity is uh, a word that's not easily uh, defined in us, is it? Because we, you know, um, time time there is no time in eternity but time, god made time here on this earth when he set the the sun and the moon and all of that uh, he created time so time is a part of us here but not in heaven heaven is eternity and the bible says that there is a promise that we have it is a promise that when we leave this earth that we go to be with him for eternity john first uh, john 225 says and this is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. Jesus said in John 10, 10, I'm, the thief has come to steal, kill, and destroy, but I am come that you might have life and life more abundantly. To him that believeth and receiveth Christ uh, is eternal life. Amen. Amen. And so again and again, the word of God uh, promises us this, uh, this thing called eternal life. And again, but you Marshall, know what? We have eternal life. You're gonna. Uh, every person on this earth is gonna have eternal life. Yes. Whether it's with God or in hell. Yeah. And that's that's what one of the. But this promise is uh, uh, eternity with Jesus. Yeah. And eternity with all the loved ones that accepted Jesus as Savior. And you know, I was reading uh, Smith Wigglesworth the other day, and Smith was talking about the second you become born again. Your eternity begins with God. Amen. I like and that. And he was talking about. Oh wow. And he was talking in, that your spirit from that moment is talking about the abundant life you're taught. You just said in John ten ten, that's when our eternity really begins. That's when things really start unraveling. Uh, I mean, not unraveling, but unraveling before you. You see the plan God, God has, has for, for your life. Yeah. yeah. And it's a. It's eternity. We think eternity is going to begin when we cross over into heaven. But no, eternity began the second you accepted Jesus. Yeah, he said, that's why Jesus said that I've come that you might have life and life more abundantly. That's right. So that we have that eternity right now in that's our right. spirit. Amen. That's right. We are eternal. Every human being born on the earth is an eternal spirit because, you know, the Bible says that people that are not alive in Christ are spiritually dead. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, God told Adam, he said, the day that you eat of the fruit, he said, uh, you'll die. And that word dies is dies, plural. And uh, literally what the, the thief did is uh, he left Adam and Eve half dead because they died spiritually. Right, they did. Okay. They didn't die physically, but they died spiritually. And so they he left them half dead. The world as we know it, is half dead. Yeah, those because that are people not are born not again. born again. If they're not born again, they're, they're spiritually dead. Yeah. yeah. John three sixteen, and I know you know this verse, we quote it all the time. Uh, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall have eternal life. And so we know that because of that, that we have that eternal life uh, in Jesus Christ. And it is a life, Marsha, that is spent in relationship with God. Amen. Man, it's a I mean, full life. I mean, wow. from the day you accepted Jesus until you transition over into 
to where your real life began. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we grasp. Do you, do you think we really grasp what this eternity is? Yes. Well, let me give you another scripture. I love, love it. The word just confirms in 1 John 5, and this is the testimony God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. Yes, I and know so, I do. So I do too. So he makes a distinction between right. the two, doesn't yes, he? Amen. He does. so if you've not received God. Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you do not have eternal life. No, no matter how many good things you do. Amen. Yeah. Well, God bless you. Hope to see you this Sunday services at 10 o'clock. God bless.